now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my <laughs> part 10 of Metroid Fusion. Where we last left off, we got power bombs. <laughs> That's about it, nothing really changed really, I mean, Adam told us to go check out what's happening in um, our ship, so you know, we're going to our ship. And that's all that we're doing. Woo! I always wanted like to hopefully. I always wanted to see if I can go all the way up the elevator shaft. Never could have. The sadness. Oh well. What? All right now. Whoop! Sorry guys, we're stuck in an elevator. Uh, and we've all seen those movies, right? People get stuck in an elevator. People go crazy. Cannibalism starts happening, it's all crazy now. I start feeling crazy too. <laughs> trick jump our way out of here. <laughs> uh, trick jumping won't help. Well, there's always one thing we can do. Power bomb! Oh, and it worked. Yeah. I guess we just got escaped. We just got escaped. We just got escaped. And that's one of, that's one of the things I like about the power bomb. If you're ever stuck in an area or just know there's something hidden around, firebomb it and boom. Hidden, are re hidden secrets are revealed. I can't speak. Then again, could I ever speak? Anyways, these little creatures, I don't know their habits. Half the time you get near them, they like curl up into a ball and don't do anything. The other half, they just move around and we just see Ridley. Ridley? <gasps> He's alive. Ah, uh, no! That was an X score. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna. Uh, I guess Ridley's returning. For what? One, two, three, four, five, sixth, possibly sixth or seventh time. Oh wow. Oh, look at those lurker like things. I have no idea what those things are. All I know is that currently, we can only take them out for power bombs since that's our only item that can break through or go through walls. But even then, it takes two power bombs to kill it. So, so I recommend you just blaze right through there. <laughs> 420. Anyways, you if normally people would just like run through here and just shine spark their way through or super speed. But if you power bomb it right here, you get a free missile tank. Or if you just remember last time I was needed a power missile, power bomb to go through there. Yeah, but I still want to see how it looks like going super speeding through there. So let's go. Woo! Yeah, not much. Well, the more we know. Wow, this place actually looks dark. Darker than usual. It's like the lighting is just. Anyways, now that we got the power bomb, let's take out this orange X nest. Um. Oh, that's right. Uh, all latches don't work. Uh, at least we found this area out. <laughs> Ooh, ah, uh, we need a screw attack. Oh well. Now that we know, we, at least we marked it on the map, we can check it out later. But yeah, all matches don't work. All latches, I said matches, all latches don't work. I guess there's only one thing left to do and go check out that observatory. Not observatory, the spaceship. Ah, oh, learn to speak. Anyways, docking bay. And I'm going purple. Surprisingly eerie. You'd think with the um, whole power out, you'd think the X would be more infestating. More infestive. Huh. Anyways, let's check it out. What's the word on the street, Adam? Automatically saves for us, or it automatically gives the option to save, you know. The main silo of the reactor core has gone offline. Oh no. That's why all elevators and stations don't work. Elevators and that just won't work. That bodes. That does not bode well. If you get to this point, you may re- I can't read that fast, start pressing X, Eduardo. Sorry, Eduardo. I said X and I meant A. Anyways, our main objective is to, you know, turn on the power. Anyways, by the way, I've asked you to return here to tell you. Samus, strange creatures- Oh, same- Some, I said Samus. Some strange creatures have boarded our ship. Ah, 
It's it it's that coons and I don't remember the bird's name. I confirmed that they were not ex hosts and I gave them birth. Brief. Breath? I don't know. Do you know these strange creatures? Were they the source of the healthy bio signs earlier? Aw, I love them. they look so cute. Very well then. Their presence in this in the midst of this disaster must have some significance. I will keep them here. Yay! As long as they're safe. That was like the thing I that worried me the most when I played this game. When I first met those guys, I just didn't want them to get hurt. I mean, when I played this game, I had no idea they were from Super Metroid, so I had no idea their significance until you. What the? F oh, want to know the nice little cool trick? Nice little cool trick. On this platform, if you make him go left and right, up. Uh, okay, he's not going left and right. Okay, uh, go left and right. Hold on. I'm Hmm. Now I gotta go distances. Okay. Left, right, left, right. There you go. Make him go left and right in the same spot over and over again. He'll kind of sink through the thing. Boo, 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 boo. And now he's gone. But that's strange. When we first came through here, we saw nothing. But now we see one little X thing. X cock. X grasshopper. Cockroach. Premantis. Alright, now let's go see if we can find our way. Uh. Well, it's a story significant latch, so there's gotta be something nearby. None of the latches here work. Hmm. This does not bode well. Heh <laughs> heh. Using a word Adam used. Anyways, our main objective here is, you know, something's. Something's um, not letting the power work. Something's not letting power. The power is shut down, and we gotta find a way to re-enable re it. And I feel like this cockroach grasshopper prey mantis item grasshopper will help us. But might as well glitch it out real fast. I would like to take credit for this glitch, but I really can't. Someone else found it out for me. When I was playing this game for the first time around fifth grade. One of my friends, well, I told him where I was, and my friends told me, Watch, um, showed, he said, Give me your game. Ooh. Yep, there it is. One of my friends told me, Give me your Game Boy, and I'll show you a neat trick with the little creature. Did that, and I was like so amazed because that's like the first glitch I've, well, not the first glitch I've seen, but it was a nice glitch I saw. Mostly because it wasn't really much of a glitch, it was just a nice little, ooh. Anyways, oh, thought it was Powerbomb in that area. Powerbomb this area, and you know. Red latch, so that when you know when you get the red latch, you can go back in this area using the red latch above us in the other room. I'm speaking oddly. Anyways, explore, explore, use our bombs. Bombs are one of our best items for exploration, ironically. Nothing here. Let's go to the left, right. Ooh, central reactor core. Huh, we're here this fast. And there appears to be uh they seem they seem to have a weed problem. Hmm. Maybe they should hire back that gardener. <laughs> uh there's no time for jokes. Let's just trick or, trick jump our way up here. All them skills with trick jumps. So we got got we got all these latches open, but let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Oh yes, yeah, safe Damn it, it doesn't work. I was excited we found a save station, but nope, no save station. Everything's broken. Oh well. Let's try door number two, but first let's just trick jump for the funds. Door number two! And we need to access it from the other side. Oh well. Should we continue here? No. Onward to door number three. And there's still those weird shells. Well, shells look like the ones we saw in the Trope Center, or Trope Center, or Tropical Center, Sector 2, a few episodes ago. So the caterpillars have evolved and- oh no, Space Pirates again. What? But last time we- what? I thought- Ugh, I guess charge shots. I thought we were strong enough to take those things out. Oh well. Ooh, E-Tank. 
Energy required. Acquired energy tank. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's been a while since we found an E tank, hasn't it? I mean, I know missiles. And I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> uh, things happen. But I was mentioning before something about E tanks? Oh, yeah, it's been a while since we had an E tank, hasn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, here we are, just taking out space pirates. You can use your missiles on them, super missiles. Ooh, look! Missile capsule. Uh, can we break anything around here to get this? Nope, nothing. Oh, well, I guess we just gotta go around or something. And this place reminds me of a huge maze. I mean, hidden passageways. Like you gotta go left one way, then down the other. If you go left and down, I don't know. It's like a small maze. But anyways, missile. Oop. <laughs> Who else saw that red blob in the bottom? Left, bottom, left-hand corner. Yep. Doormaster. I don't know what they're called. They're like Globora's X. But I call them. Oh, sorry. Hiccups. I got them, I call them doormasters because it's a lot easier to remember. And they kind of are doormasters. They block a doorway, and when you see one, you know you're going to have a boss fight soon. Which boss fight exactly? It's always a mystery. Well, it's a mystery if you just for some playing this game. I know what it is, but, you know. Let's keep the whimsy at its maximum and pretend we don't know. Anyways. We all know what to do with Glomoras, they open up their eyes, if it's flashing, they shoot a beam and they're immune to all attacks. You avoid it by just going down, crouch, and when it's open, you shoot your missiles. Normally, it'll take three shots, but because we got super missiles, now it only takes one. Anyways, eerie room. Oh, a long room. Oh, fire. Uh, everyone's. Oh, I can't. I don't know how to. Wait, how do I get out of this? Okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to move around and shoot him. Okay. This is Yakuza X. As you can notice, it opens up its mouth and shoots fire pillars out of it. Just gotta. Ignore the fire, but be careful. The fire kind of lingers, so you know. Watch out for that when you're avoiding him. He goes a kind of a set pattern, like just if you know your angles and trajectories and all not trajectories, your angles, you can probably you can probably expect his path. And you won't have that much oh ah, god damn it. You won't have much that much of a hard time. Okay. Okay, okay I think moving left and round rad, rapidly will do it. Anyways, super missiles will do nothing to it, even though we just got super missiles. The main way of hurting him is when he opens up his mouth to shoot those fireballs, just Blast him immediately with ice missiles. Like most monsters, their insides are their most weakened, weakest spot. And this is where it gets creepier. <laughs> Look at that. An insect head. Basically sp space jumping. Vomiting out centipedes or in organs. Who knows what they are. My, I don't know if this is an actual th thing. I don't, know, I don't know if this is actually a strategy that pros do, but I just stand in the same corner and just shoot rapidly. Odds are he's gonna, just gonna gain your direction anyways, and boom, you're gonna get hurt him. You're gonna hurt him. The thing about Yakuza, though, is that he's not a spider. If you saw before we removed his legs, he only had six. Okay, we're almost... Yes! But that's not the end, guys. I'll talk about Yakuza later. Um, yeah. Defeat any ex-boss, and boom, an next core comes out. We all know the drill at this point. Shoot it when it's not flashing because it's immune. The more damage it does, the more color changes it has. And if you're running out of health or ammo, just shoot it with your normal shots and it will release a bunch of X parasites that you can collect. It's yellow. And based on Yakuza's movement, I suspect it's going to be a space jump. Trick jump. Space jump ability recovered. Simmer slot continuously in air. Yep. Anyway, Yakuza is a sp not a spider because he has six legs. Insects have six legs. Spiders, or rackets more specifically, have eight legs. And I'm getting. Yep, space jump. Space jumping is weird. First time I got it, I never knew how to use it properly. It took me like 20 minutes to get out of here. Because I kept on mashing A, 
Oh look, I'm literally power room. I kept on mashing A, you know. <laughs> but it was like, I will never get it right. There's a rhythm to it. It's like, jump, let it go to a small arc, then jump again, small arc, jump again, to like get a thing. Get like, um, motion going. Anyways, I think we fixed it. Looks like there's power now. Lights blinking, noises blopping, it, and it all looks good. <laughs> Convenient navigation room. What's the word on the tree, Adam? Save rooms and recharge rooms are now back online, but with only auxiliary power, no elevators or hatches will work without the main silo online. We are. S <sighs> God damn it, Eduardo. Anyways, as you saw before, the vegetation is choking the power system. Is your objective clear? We have to find the source of the roots and proceed. <sighs> okay, next objective. I'm gonna stop here because boss fight wasn't as hard. I mean, the first time I fought Yakuza, I nearly died. Well, I didn't really die. I actually died three times. And that little bastard knocked me back in. Anyways, let's save real fast and I'm gonna call this episode to end. Later, guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.